What's good YouTube? Today's video will be top 5 builds. I'll do two separate lists, one for meta and one for budget. Both of these lists are 100% my opinion and based off my experience and the stats that I know. If I get anything wrong, feel free to correct me in the comments. Make sure to like, subscribe. Hope you enjoy. Peace. At number 5 I have the MPX. If any of you have watched my recent video you will understand why. 7N is basically on par with A1 and the weapon technically has better stats than the H4 in mid to close range with little to no recoil. The only downside would be the fact it doesn't have T5 bullets. Overall I would use this weapon if I'm running like a T5 or a T4 lightweight kit and I don't plan on buying T5 ammo so there's no reason to use the H4. It hurts my soul but I have to put the H4 at number 4. This gun is perfect all the way up to the point where you have to shoot someone and then you end up wasting a whole 60 mag of a1 just to get a kill the price of ammo and attachments just isn't worth the investment if you don't have the money for it i know i see a lot of comments saying oh you should have put the f2000 instead which i kind of agree with but personally i use this weapon as my comfort pick it performs well in most situations with great weapon stats for mobility hip fire and recoil i also know people like using the combat grip instead of the lightweight but a lot of the time i have to deal with the weapon sway more than i have to deal with the low ergo since i usually run scopes and spray a lot the suppressor could be switched for like a a compensator but most times when you're shooting long range you're not just one tapping someone and the suppressors work extremely well so to keep the element of surprise i usually just run suppressor so i could let the clip loose reposition and do the same thing over again you could run any scope on this weapon since the stats are so good i like using a 3.5 and then i have the 1x6 as my secret lover i actually picked up that scope from tarkov and it just increases the versatility of the weapon for me breaking into the top three we have this beauty the ar-57 is literally a better version of the h4 has a fast fire rate with ammo that complements it it lacks good ergo but the recoil stats make up for it making this weapon an absolute laser beam this weapon is actually super versatile the ergo is bad but this gun has insane hip as well so it can be used in any situation i never use any scope bigger than a 3.5 since the ergo is already bad and this optic works perfect for any range for me i wouldn't recommend using it without the suppressor since that's a part of this weapons kit as you saw from the opening clip i'm very comfortable with the rpk and there's good reason the weapon is extremely strong and it has no weak points other than the fact that they're stronger calibers. BS and BP are extremely good though, and the weapon covers every range. You will see the same attachments being used when it comes to the front grips, the pistol grips, and the stocks. Since the black carbon stock is just overall meta, there isn't a better stock for automatic. Some weapons don't have the same pistol grip. As you can see, the RPK has a different one. The lightweight will always be the best front grip for overall performance in my opinion. Yeah, these guys been on all day running squads for sure. Can he get on top of that? He just dead. I didn't know you could get up there. <laughs> That's pretty nasty angle. There's another guy like right here. I think. I want him to shoot at me, but don't kill me. Perfect. exactly what I wanted. Thank you. This is a weapon I don't see enough for how good it is. The AK has one of the highest fire rates while shooting 762. If we were to give every gun the same caliber and compare raw weapon stats, it would still be top 3. And BS and BP are super affordable since most people use the H4 or the FAL. Before you guys flame me, M61 is god tier so I don't have any weapon that runs that ammo on the list. So that was the top 5 meta builds that I run. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Time to talk to me. 
So when it comes to budget, since you're not kidding out the weapon, the ammo is the most important part. M855 honestly is very underrated considering how affordable it is and how bad A1 is. The MDR is very low maintenance when it comes to attachments. I know some people struggle with recoil, so putting the vertical grip should help, but this build is very good for being able to mag dump into an enemy. I'm honestly glad more people aren't aware of how broken shotguns are. This class of weapons has the best flesh ammo, being type 8 buckshot, where you can literally get 2 tapped by a USAS or a SEGA. Other than the DP pair with slugs, the downside is not being able to fire at range, but once you learn how to navigate the map and use these weapons properly, you can easily secure a good raid. Honestly, there's not much to say about the Moza. It's very accessible, so is the ammo for the weapon, like Skaz walk around with LPS, which is like T4. It does great damage. On the proper map, there's a lot of opportunities to make plays while spending basically nothing. This weapon has ruined a lot of people's days. MP5 dum dum combo is ultimate budget. The base weapon is all you need. The 60 mags and ammo are very affordable. Most flush ammo is under t3 and people don't high sell those so all of them are basically going to be under 100 around this strat doesn't care about the armor you wear so it automatically becomes the best route for budget players no matter what weapon it is i hope these builds are useful for you wish you the best of luck hope you get a secret document let me know what you guys think in the comments make sure to like the video if you made it this far appreciate you peace